Hello, can everyone hear me? Thank you, thank you, Ken. I am uh, joining you from Canada. Uh, I am fully in purple though, purple and proud. Uh, all the way from Canada, I am the very, very proud new president of Wesleyan College. Uh, I am in the process of moving with my family to Macon and I cannot wait to get there and meet each and every one of you. So uh, sorry I can't be with you today, but I will be there very, very soon. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations on choosing Wesleyan. Congratulations on uh, being accepted. So I wanted to start there. Um, I wanted to congratulate you on your choice, your intentional choice to come to a women's college. And, you know, there's, it, it, there's no coincidence in the fact that 20% of women in Congress, 33% of women who sit on corporate boards, the first female Nobel Prize winner, the first U.S. Army leader, uh, U.S. General in the Army, who was female, guess where they all graduated from? Women's colleges. And the reason why that is, the reason why we have, we always punch above our weight, you get a heck of a lot more mileage out of your degree, is because of the intentionality we place on developing women, those who identify as women, as leaders. You will experience today, you'll get to know our faculty and our staff. You will understand that we are set up to support you and to nurture your individual gifts, your confidence, your competence, and your leadership skills. And this is a formative experience, one that can only be found in small women's colleges, liberal arts colleges. You are going to come into classrooms with passionate professors. You're not going to be sitting at the back of a 400 person lecture theater. I call them park and bark lectures. You know, you park it and the, and the faculty members kind of barking at you and taking down notes. You are go you're not a passive receptacle for information. You are going to participate in your education. You come prepared to discuss and debate and challenge your professors and one another. And this is a formative experience because imagine how you show up in a job interview or a grad school interview compared to those students who have sat in that back of a 400 person lecture theater, not talking, not, not being present in a safe space to, um, to sell your ideas and to challenge, to challenge one another. This is a competitive advantage that only happens at women's colleges. We are prepared to support and develop you to be leaders tomorrow. We, women's colleges since the 1800s have been accelerating equality. And that's what we at Wesleyan are focused on doing. We recruit women from across the globe who are committed to accelerating equality and leading in every single field. And that's you, I'm talking to you. So I, I, I just wanted to congratulate you on making such an intentional and informed choice in coming to Wesleyan. Our commitment to you is to support you in that endeavor and I ask and challenge you back to commit to us your participation, your involvement in your own education. Everyone you meet on campus today and as you go forward, our faculty and our staff are there because they believe in you. They believe in women's education. They believe that we can change the world and we can accelerate equality for women across the globe. But what we need from you is to get involved both in the classroom and outside of the classroom. The last few years I know have been a challenge. And so, and sometimes when things are challenging, we look to, to go internal or to, um, uh, you know, to, to retreat, but I encourage you get involved. It's the best way to experience campus. You have four years to focus on you and to get the most out of all that we have to offer. Join a club, um, get involved in leadership opportunities, go see your professors, go see your classmates, spend time with them, really immerse yourself in the experience. Because when you graduate after those four years, you are going to be better prepared because of the relationships that you have de developed on our campus. So enjoy today. Uh, congratulations. Like I said, I cannot wait to get there. I mean, I think it's a bit hot there. Is that right? Yes. yes. Okay. So, 
I cannot wait to get there and meet each and every one of you, parents included. Uh, you'll see me, I myself, uh, my husband, uh, my two sons who are 10 and six and two dogs and a cat are all moving into the president's house, which is uh, on campus. So you're going to be seeing a lot of us. I'm going to be at your events. I'm going to be at your sporting events, your extracurriculars. Uh, and I really look forward to um, getting to know you personally. And that's a beautiful thing about liberal arts residential colleges. We all live together, we eat together, we spend time together, we support one another. And that's the community you have signed up for and I've signed up for. So I can't wait to begin our journey together. Thank you so much and enjoy the day.